So I'm not sure, but I think that might be a live bait well right there. Eh, probably not, it's probably storage. Hi there, thanks for joining me today for another YouTube video. So I haven't recorded anything for quite a while and I was planning on starting you know, to do something more than I have been doing. And I was outside today just recently you know, went over to my neighbor's house and I've been looking at this boat that's been sitting next to his house and I've asked him about it for months, even before winter. So that was back in, you know, October, November of 2022. This is April, end of April, May or end of April, 2023. And I just saw him outside and I went over there and I said, hey, you know, what do you want for this boat? And you know what? I, I think he gave me a special deal. Um, I mean, he could probably have gotten more for it if he advertised it and had people come over and look at it and things like that. And it's a boat motor and trailer. It's a 60, it doesn't work properly. I have to fix the motor, but it's a 1987 boat. I think it's a, a, a Lund, but I have to look. And it's a, a 65 horse um, Evinrude three uh, cylinder, um, a two stroke. So uh, <laughs> this is the unboxing. This is so cool. So I, I went over there and I picked it up with my um, my trip. I picked up the trailer and the boat with my lawnmower. So this is what all that looks like. I just pulled it over here with my tractor and uh, I'm getting ready to uh, unbox it. You know, <laughs> I love this stuff. I mean, this is this is the Lord providing this. This is just what I need. I always wanted a steering wheel boat, you know, um, and, and this is the one I have right now. This is, I think, a, a 14 or a 16. I'm not sure which. I think it might be 16. 16 foot. It's got a 15 horse Evinrude on it, pull start. The other one has an electric start. That is so cool. That's really what I wanted, that and a steering wheel. So uh, I'm gonna do the, uh, the unboxing right now. He said he had this sitting outside for three years, hasn't touched it, and it's got a 2003 decal on it that's 20 years old. So he's probably had this sitting around for 20 years at some other location. He's only, he only moved into the neighborhood about three years ago. So I don't know where he stored it before that, if it was indoors or outdoors, but it doesn't look like he's used it for 20 years. But just the boat alone, I'll give you a tour of that, but just the boat alone has got to be worth more than $1,900. I bought this boat for $1,900. Sure, I need some paint on the trailer, and I've got to get that motor working. That's what I want to do. But anyway, this is what it looks like. So I'm not sure, but I think that might be a live bait well right there and eh, probably not it's probably storage but uh you can see here it has a um a trolling motor looks like it's all set up you know with all the uh hardware and everything looks like there's a a pedal control it definitely needs some tlc Looks like it's got a fish locator. Oh, look at that. Looks like Mouse was living up there. In fact, he did say that the reason the motor didn't work was that uh, a mouse chewed through the wire, but he fixed that and had it running after that. So I'm not sure what the problem is, but we'll figure that out. And then this has got to go. Like I said, uh, I think I said it is uh, the end of April and there aren't any wasps out yet but they will be out shortly i'm sure this is what i i like that 
and the uh, electric start. Couple of decent seats. He built he built these outriggers. He worked at a uh, as a manufacturing at a manufacturing job, so he built these stainless steel outriggers. That'll be nice. Looks like he's got a couple more here. I'm not sure those those look like they might be uh, aftermarket, but nevertheless, and the floor. Well, the floor looks like it might be sinking a little bit there. I'm gonna have to replace a few boards. It looks like the water got in there. So here we go. I got up into this thing just after starting to record the uh, intro video. And uh, that floor there is so weak. If I step on it one more time, it's gonna go right through. So I am going to take that off and see what's under there. Well, that didn't work out too good. Camera fell off, broke off one of these feet. I think you can get a new foot for that. Just so my phone didn't break. So after pulling this floorboard up, I'm in amazement looking at the bottom of the boat there with all the water. There's a red and a black wire just laying in the bottom. They both have connectors on the end. It looks like they're positive and negative. And I'm wondering, is this from the manufacturer? Or did someone else have this board up off the floor and tried to connect it to something. I have no idea why they're there. Where in the world would this have gone? Interesting. What's it doing laying in there like that? Well, the rest of the boards in this boat look pretty good. Obviously that one is no good, but I'm not sure about what that is right there it doesn't open up it looks like it's screwed down so maybe it's just a, a hatch or something like that i'm going to take that off and just check it out Ah, I see. It's live well. That, those two hoses are for. That's a, for the pump. Nice. 
got a plug in here for this if you want to drain the water out. Nice. Very nice. A live well. Very nice. Well, I'm really pleased with that, a live well. Looks like this was for another fish locator, maybe a guidance or a navigation system. Don't know, but it's got the power. Don't know what that is, but that'll have to come out of there or maybe maybe the previous owner, Ken, he, uh, he may have that still. And here's what the uh, controls look like. Well, if I can turn the seat, the seat's a little bit jammed up, but fuse block, fuses, nav lights, pump, aerator, interior light. Who knows if those switches are any good anymore. Here's the forward reverse. Boy, I'm really interested in getting that running. So I should measure for a battery and those look like those two pipes down there. I thought there were steering cables in there, but there's not. That looks like the uh, live well. Oh, look at this. We've got storage on the side here. Looks like he's got that locked. And there is a key for it somewhere. And it doesn't, this, this is a key number 67 and number 67. Let's see if that even fits in there. No. That must be a different key. Yeah, this is just for the motor. <laughs> well, he's got a piece of something in here, maybe keeping it closed. I bet you that's what that's about. Let's see. And what's inside? Looks like a mouse was living in there. And uh, maybe a wasp. Yep, mud wasp. So. Well. Six person or 800 pounds, 90 horsepower motor you can put on there. Very cool. I can, I have different, I can get different locks. That shouldn't be an issue. That's a rod holder. Rod holders in there. Well, let's get this thing tipped up and get the uh, water out of it, measure for the battery. It looks like it's worth uh, $1,900 in that condition. So I guess we'll be doing another YouTube video on the restoration of this boat. A 1987 Lund, I don't know how many feet that is, it's nice and wide with a 1986 65 horse Evinrude on it to get this thing up and running.